Hey everybody, welcome to the Ray Hart Rundown. What is it, up? We everybody? are in episode 90. It's a good year. Dude, 10 episodes out. We're two months and 90, a week. 90 was a good year. We're two months and a week out from episode 100. This is when I was born. Episode 100 was when you were born? What? No. 1990. 1990. It's a good year. Brought okay. me into everyone's lives. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um... <laughs> Be, yeah. that, be that as it may, 10 episodes out from episode 100. Yeah. So Still have no idea what we're doing for I it. have, yeah. It's, it's, again, it's <laughs> two. Ah, we got 10 weeks to figure it 10 out. 10 weeks to figure it out. So. Unless we have like a episode 94.5 or something. <laughs> we'll probably have to do another um, Patreon pubes episode for sure. Yeah. So. So, yeah. 11 episodes <laughs> out. 11 episodes out. Here we go. But, this is not Trent. Oh. In case anybody was curious. So, I believe, did I talk about how I was, yeah, it was last week. I was going to look at a Mazda. Okay, but before you jump on that, I have to mention one thing before I bleeds my brain. Okay. So, keep that in your brain, but listen to this. We had, remember how you were talking about the fish tank a couple episodes back? Yeah. And you're doing the movie stuff? Are you still printing stuff for the movie? Uh, I decided to start printing other stuff that I needed first. Okay. K- K- um, fair enough, because the yeah. fish are fine, you know. Yeah, but you are going to still print. Yes. stuff. Uh, we had a Patreon member suggest. Oh, cool! Okay. I, I like this idea. Yeah. Actually, everyone send in your yeah. suggestions we as to what pa- you want me Patreon to print. Patreon members suggest that you print the tree from Avatar. That's dope. That's a good idea. That's fucking sick. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'm doing that. Okay, I'm yeah, gonna do that for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna All do right, that there you for go. sure. Because I need something bigger in the tank yeah. for sure. So but the tree, like, yeah, you could do the tree from Avatar because it'll blend well. It'll look cool if you do it right. Painting, it's going to be a bitch. This all this person also offered relaxing. to help you with painting. Oh, cool! So they're they're local. Right on. Okay, so Hell there's yeah. that. <clears throat> um, oh yeah. Yeah. Anyways, go ahead, bunch of monsters. Sorry, I had to bring that up. For, I, I forgot to oh. mention it like two episodes ago. I'm, okay, so. <sighs> I went and I looked at the Mazda. Your okay. favorite, the Mazda. Now, chicka chicka. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, uh, <laughs> Every sigh that you make sounds like sad times. Sounds yeah. like Adam's okay, sad. Okay, so here's Adam. the thing. All right, here's the deal. Oh, here's the deal. I found this Mazda. It was a CX-3. Okay. Got it. SUV. I show up and like you, dude, wait times out before you go when you since you did SUV with your finger quotes. Did you not know the CX three was not an SUV? No, I thought it was okay. Yeah, I thought when it you was. were talking about it, I knew it wasn't, but I was like, I don't, I don't know what he's looking. I don't know what you're looking for anymore. No, no, you yeah, jump I from thought, car to car. I thought, I'm just like, eh. I thought it was an SUV. Okay, go ahead. Keep straight going. up, I thought it was an no. SUV. So like, I, I went to go look at the CX five. And it was like a 2018 with like 27,000 miles. Like it was decent. Right. And it was around what I wanted to pay. Pay, okay. You know? Um, And I got in it and I was like, clown card. Yeah. Right? It was like, it was fucking tiny. And there's no armrest. Like there was no even like like a like a van has like a armrest on the seat. No, right. there was no center console armrest. It was just like I looked at her and I was just like, "That's fucking weird." What's like, she say? And she just started laughing or whatever. But here's the thing: I walked in there. Were you right? were you hitting on the? Okay, okay. so this is where I was um, getting at. Right. Oh, so <laughs> let me get cozy. Let me get cozy. Let me get so my, hold on, they're getting. Fucking crafty at these car dealerships, bro. Because like straight up, I knew what their price was, and I knew what I you was want. Gonna, you I, what you wanted? What I you were knew, going in for? I knew. I knew that I could buy that car at that price, but I wasn't gonna do that. I was like, okay, you're sending it at this price. Guess what? I'm gonna fucking come at you with this price. You're gonna try, and to then go you're lower. gonna tell me this price. I'm gonna be like, no, I said my price. Right. I was getting ready to go in there and be like, listen here, motherfucker. Right. This is the price. This is what I want. This is what I'm paying you. I already have the financing. Don't try to get me with the other fucking banks. Bullshit. Right. No. This is it how it is, or I'm fucking walking. That's what was my plan. I was going to walk in there and be like, dude, you're going to fucking hate me. Like, that was going to be my first words to him. Be like, right. you're going to hate me. And I pull up. I'm ready to... F- I'm like fucking amped up, right? Shotgun Red Bull before I fucking went. So of course. Fucking of course he did. Amped up. Okay, go ahead. And <clears> fucking <throat> show up. Yep. 
There's this like little fucking cute 26 year old gamer chick that fucking meets me. <laughs> Where was this at? Mazda? Mazda. Okay, yeah. Mazda. The Mazda dealership. Actually, fucking Mazda cute. Dealer. The, my salesman was a cute fucking 26 year old gamer chick. And she was all like, yeah, let's go see what we can do. And then we go and we sit down and she's like, what are you looking for? Asking me questions and stuff. And I was still just kind of like, I wasn't going to be like mean. Like I was going to be to like another guy. Type like of, a dude? You know, like right. dude. So you went in there with attitude. And I went in there with attitude. You... As soon as she helped me, I was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't just be like a dick now. You, you know, I still got to be. A, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm a gentleman. So like, I'm not just going to be a dick to her for no reason. Dude, I'll be a dick to a guy for no fucking reason. But. You know, so I was like, oh, okay, well, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm, you know, blah, blah, blah. And we're yeah. talking and whatnot. And I'm, like, sitting there. And then I look at, like, she has, like, a stack of books and everything. And it was, like, mythology books. Yeah, exactly. So then we started talking about that. They knew that. you were coming. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, I'm the, you like, I'm going to set up an appointment to come test drive. And they're like, Adam, Ray Hart. Oh, he's got a podcast. We'll listen to every episode. Oh, <laughs> you know, he likes this, this, and this. Okay, we're going to get this chick. We're going to do a stack of books. <laughs> <laughs> fucking mythology books. There's, like, little <clears throat> fucking figurines of all DC. Time's out. Time's out. DC villains and heroes on her desk. Did she have a tattoo? Yes. Multiple tattoos? Yes. They fucking knew you were coming. <laughs> <laughs> like, and like little DC villains and like Harley Quinn little, and like, and character, like, dude, and I'm just like, I'm just sitting there and I'm looking at everything on her desk and I'm just all like, oh no. I just, I fucking knew it, dude. She could have sold you anything at that point. knew at it. At any point. Yeah. She could have been like, here's a Ferrari. You're like, I could totally afford a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> right so like so now I'm, I'm like i'm sitting there and i'm just all like all right we yeah. sit and i'm like we're going and i was all like yeah like i'm not even gonna bother test driving this she goes well we have a cx5 that's a little bit older or whatever and but it has like seventy nine thousand miles i was all like well it was all like you know she goes and we have another one that has you know it's a little bit cheaper it's a, uh and a little bit newer i was like i'm looking for under a hundred thousand miles well, then she like goes and gets the keys or whatever, and like and takes me out. And she goes, "It's under a hundred thousand miles." And I was like, "Ninety nine." That's what I said. I was all like, "Oh, it's like ninety nine thousand nine hundred And she just kind of smiles and goes back, and she's like, "Yeah, no, literally, it's like twenty six miles away from a hundred thousand miles." <laughs> and so I was just all like, yeah, "No, like that's not what I meant by under a hundred thousand miles." Wow. And it's white. I don't like white cars. White okay. and red cars. I don't know why. I just don't like them. And. And if I'm going to be paying that amount of money, then I'm not getting a color of a car I don't want. No, yeah, it's understandable. So I don't want to like look at my car every day and go, oh, <laughs> like, right, right, right. So, um, so then we check out this CS6 or CX5, and it's bigger. You know, it's got like seventy nine thousand miles, mm-hmm. and the price was well below what I was even looking to fucking pay. Mm-hmm. And I was just all like, wow, well, this might actually work and everything. And then so she brings out the fucking all the paperwork. And it was all like, oh, and then we're going to add on another $2,000 for this. And we're going to add on another $1,000 for this. And then we're going to add on this and this and this. Of and course. This. And I was just all like, okay, what is this, this, this? I was like, what is all this? Like, explain to me what all of this is. Right. And she goes, oh, this is like a thing that we put on the cars that covers all of scratches and dents and blah, 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 blah. I was like, I don't need that. Take it off. She goes, no, it's already, it's like an actual thing on the car. And she goes, it's come standard with all of our vehicles. There's no taking it off. Well, then why isn't it already so included it like, with the price? Right, exactly. So it was $16,000 car. And at the end of it, it was like $22,000. And I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, hold up, bitch. <laughs> yeah. And I was just sitting there and I was just like, and like, mind you, we had flirted this entire fucking oh, time. Oh, she had you. Because she's all like, you want to hook your Bluetooth up to it and everything? As we're test driving and shit. So now I'm like, Bluetooth, so, yeah, listening to music. You know. And she goes, oh, you should send me that song. And like, and I'm just all like, you're good. <laughs> like, I knew too. I was just all like, you're fucking good. And I'm just like driving or whatever. And then like, we fucking park and, and now I'm reading all this shit. And I'm just like, I'm trying to tell her no. In, like, the nicest way possible, you know? And then she goes, all right, well, let me go get my boss. I'm like, yeah, do that. I'll tell him no in a heartbeat. Right. That dude comes back, and I'm just like, no. <laughs> like, no, no, dude, no. And then I, t- I told him, I was like, and then I was like, i tell you what. Why don't I go to my bank, get the actual paperwork for, and get pre-approved for everything. And he's like, well, if, I, I can do that for you right now. If you go and do, take it to the bank and you bring me that paper, there's a lot more paperwork I got to fill out. It's going to cost you another $1,000. What? And I was all like, I'm old school, so let me just do it my way. 
If it costs another thousand dollars, then you Yahoo for you. Like I don't. Here's the thing. I called my bank. Yeah. And the lady started laughing over the phone. Yeah, it's bullshit. And she's all like, "I've never heard of that ever, ever. and I've been doing this for twenty years." Yeah. That's bull. It was bullshit. It was bullshit. They were just trying to jack you. Yeah. Dude, I'd have been out. As so, soon as he said that, too, I'd have been like, and we're done. Yeah. And we're done. Thanks. Bye. So, and I just told him, Deuces. I said, listen, I was like, before I spend $20,000, yeah. I like to sleep on this. He goes, well, these used cars are going so fast. I was like, well, then you're going to have to put me in something new now, won't you? And he was like, oh, yeah, okay, that's fine. That's exactly. what got him to be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay. Dude, they have called me two to three times a day yeah. for the past week. No, dude. I don't give him my number. I give so, him like a fake ass number. I should have gave him my old number. But yeah, so I got to say they're persistent. But dude, like they know what they're doing. They're hiring fucking tattooed 26-year-old gamer chicks, and it's fucking working. Just, okay. So. That, girl's, that girl probably makes so much goddamn money. Did you get her number? Anyway. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Hi, Veronica. Uh, <laughs> Bleep the name. <laughs> um, I should have used a fake name. Damn. Um, no, but uh, but yeah. So, uh, but I did finally find my car. I did find okay. my car. Yeah, it's yeah. the one I've been driving. You already have it. <laughs> yup. <laughs> No, I've decided that since I actually haven't found anything like legit in the car prices because of the microchip shortage is so ridiculous right now. Right. Um, that I'm just like, I, I drive once a week. I drive here. Mm-hmm. I still Instacart my food because I am I live a life of convenience, mm-hmm. like I said. So, and if not, it's a mile up the road. Mm-hmm. So, because I drive so little, the amount of money I would put on down, down payment would a be down payment would be plus less, insurance plus yeah right it would be less money for me just to fix my car right so i'm just gonna fix it up to where it looks pretty much brand new and it would cost literally half of what my down payment alone would have been mm. you know so that's what i decided to do um and it's i'm, I'm starting to like get into it i'm actually looking at repairing it myself and it's it's starting to look like kind of fun because i've always wanted to learn like mechanics okay. you know um just for the like hell of it car mechanics yeah yeah because yeah. like I've, I've always repair, ca- actually yeah yeah because yeah. i mean i've had a lot of shitty cars in my day like this is and that's fine this is most people i do. wouldn't say that this is a shitty car i'm talking like i bought a piece of shit car because that was all i could afford at the time right it was a car that was already falling apart a lot of people do that. Oh, I could change a fucking flat tire in less than 10 minutes. Right. <laughs> like, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so, and this one isn't even the crappiest car that I've had. You know what I mean? Like, yep. I, I'm, when I got this car, it was practically brand new. I've had it for like eight years. So, um, but yeah, I decided to fix it up. It's just like, it, it's just it kind of take time. It's labor intensive, like a motherfucker. And uh, I'm even thinking because like I gotta replace the fender, okay? Right, and uh, it's it's like black, but the rest of my car is silver. So like, do I want to be that guy? Yes. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, do I want to be that guy here's that's the, driving here's around the thing. with one fender that's a different color than the rest of his car? But also, here's the thing: is anytime anybody sees, and this is so stupid to say, but anytime anybody sees like a car that's like two colors or whatever, or broken or whatever nobody ever breaks into that car <laughs> this is true <laughs> like you never have to worry about anybody getting into your shit that's true yeah they could be like huh. oh oh he can't afford the same color bumper fuck him he's done do you know what's crazy too car. i'm pretty sure there's like a hundred dollars worth of quarters in my car <laughs> <laughs> like, pretty so sure. many quarters. because like dude like it's every time anytime you i've gone change. to the store for like eight years yeah I just throw the change in my fucking center console, my fucking right. door, like floor. I just throw the change in my car. I'm, your car, I'm sure, is just beautiful inside. It's just amazing. <laughs> this is why we don't take your car anywhere. I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, my AC. Oh, yeah. I think we jinxed it. By the way, why? Because remember how I was talking about after I test drove that Rav Four? Yeah. And then your car was like, 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 it was, like, it was, was like, amazing. It was all amazing. It was yeah. blowing extra cold. Yep. Yeah. No, that was the AC compressor's fucking last breath. <laughs> It's fucking done. It's shot. My AC fucking cut out, and I'm driving around. You know how hot it was today? It was 94 degrees out today. That sounds about right. And I have no AC. 
I don't. I don't. I don't know. And I have two working windows. So That's cool. Two, uh, yeah, I just I can't believe Mazda. Oh my God, they're getting crafty, bro. They're getting crafty. By the way, I also uh, I don't think that it was true that Mazda's outbeat Toyota for reliability. Now, but now, <laughs> now that it's been a couple of weeks and um, that we're, we're coming off of the I possessed private screening. Oh uh, yes, and the second I possessed private screening and the third I possessed private screen the one that took place in deerfield dude it's getting great reviews <clears throat> that's what i was gonna say Phenomenal i've, I've reviews. read the reviews on it already on the on the paperwork on the, um and i was just uh carl just emailed me carl and tammy just emailed me uh, uh one of the reviews that was done by one, one of our patreons oh yeah 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 and uh yeah, was like, should we was, read the review i'm not gonna read it on here just yet yeah i'm gonna wait but um because I want to read it when we have Carl on the show. Oh, right on. And uh, so it was like this whole, but it's this whole long thing. Like he, I mean, like it goes into. I'll, I'll show it to you when we're off off camera. But it goes into this whole, and he he, he breaks it down. Like, and I'm just like, a dude, a dude's got it. Like he figured. I mean, there's a few things where I'm like, mm, I don't think so. But again, it's a review is an opinion. Yeah. So it's everybody's opinion. You know what I'm saying? Right. Opinion based thing, and that's and that's why you want a bunch of different reviews is because. Somebody's going to be able to agree with this factor, or somebody's going to be able to disagree with that factor, and and I don't know. It's really it's exciting to see people catch things or see things that even I, now that I've seen, seen the movie multiple times, was like, ah, no, I, I didn't even see that. I didn't even catch that. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that's cool. So yeah. So there is a uh, there is two screenings coming up in Delray. Yeah. Um, so once again, if any of our Patreons in or near Delray, uh, Florida want to hit us up for, uh, getting the tickets to there, it is the 16th, I think it is. 14th, I thought. Yeah, because it's a Tuesday. Anyways, go to, um, go to our Patreon, go to our Patreon, it'll be, the details will be on there. Uh, and if 14th you, and then 21st, yeah, so there you go. It'll be at the, uh, the theater in uh, Delray, Florida. And then, um, again, in t- it'll be there'll Tampa. be a, there'll be one in Tampa in July. And I just found out it's not this is this is breaking news today type thing. Okay, um, there is a chance that there'll be one in July in Orlando. Oh, nice, yeah, for the Orlando crowd. So it's kind of like it's doing all we're doing, they're doing all of South Florida. Central and South Florida, so nice. So that's exciting. I'm super excited for that. Super stoked because you know your boy goes to Orlando all the time, all the time. Can't wait. Gonna go again. <whistles> Gone. Don't Sweet. Care. Don't care. Well, uh, my car has no AC, so you want to take my car? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> my car. I'll just put the top down. Same thing. No AC. <laughs> I'm such a spoiled, rotten brat, though, yeah, and I totally are. admit to this being whatever. But I will literally ride my car, and even 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 my wife Jen was like, "What? Why do you do that?" I'm like, "Because I can't. Because I can. Because I can." But I will literally ride in my convertible, spoiled, rotten convertible, with the top down and the AC on full blast. What? Why? Here's why. Gas is like how much a gallon, and you're what? Spoiled rotten. I tell you that. That's why I started with this story. Spoiled rotten. The reason why is because I have the AC. You know how you can have the AC blow either like on your face or on your feet? Yeah. So I always, since there's already air coming over the overflow of the car, the air, I put it on my feet. So that I'm like, get cold air down there too. So I have cold air blowing on my feet, cold air blowing on my, my top half. It's fun. And then the heat wave just blasting you in the face? No, because there's a no. It's not like it's not like riding your motorcycle. It's not like like you said on the, on the, one of the episodes. Like it's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it's so hot. No, it's not going to be like that because there's a windshield. You know what I can't Dude, this stand? This day is so hot that I'm pretty sure you could fry an egg on my helmet. There's probably there's there's. Did you get a new helmet yet? No. I can't stand, and it's so and it's such a stupid. This is such a stupid dumb. Not worth it. I shouldn't even have to say this. Pet peeve is when somebody has a convertible and the top's down and the windows are up. <laughs> I I don't know why that's so irritating. It's uh, so corny and and such. It's such like. Uh, What's the point? 
Well, it's not even, here's the thing. I, I say, oh, it's a pet peeve, but it's very much like it's not, it doesn't have any. it doesn't affect me. It doesn't have anything to do with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have, it, like, it doesn't really, it doesn't change my life if they do that or not. But when I see it, I'm just like, eh. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I said, uh, white people problems. I can't even. <laughs> so first stupid. world problems. Yeah, first world problems over here. Oh, Bob's irritated because somebody's got their top down and their windows up. <laughs> Meanwhile. Dude, somebody asked me, what is your biggest pet peeve? That was on, um. That was on was our what, episode too. We, I think we had it on an episode. I know. Dude, it's, I still it, don't I really have that much. On, I don't think I have an answer. I know it's on one of the Shame of Life cards. Okay, so this episode of the Ray Hart Rundown has been brought to you by the Shame of Life, the card game of weird conversations. Uh, one thing that we play here on the show of the sh- of the Ray Hart Rundown is the Shame of Life. I mean, we play it uh, well, all the time. Absolutely love the game. Yeah, absolutely, it's love so it. fun. What could you say um, is probably the best, your most favorite deck to play? Um, I honestly, I, I like the, um, uh, return of the shame, no, the, the actual, one, the one that was actually put in by, you know, fans for, uh, during the, uh, the Kickstarter campaign, which submitted got, the one yeah. that was submitted. I was just so, saying those ones are always fun because I feel like that those ones are always like the most raunchiest, most, you know what I mean? Right, 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 right. Like the most brutal questions I would, I would say. So with that, we uh, offer a special deal for our fans. Uh, you have the Ray Hart Rundown show. You could go to the shame of life.com and get yourself a copy of the works, which is all of the shame of life. Yeah. Cards. Including, I believe they have now two uh, online packs as well. Two digital expansions. Two digital Correct. expansions. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, you get twenty percent off of the works uh, for typing in "rundown 20. Right, "rundown 20 uh, before checkout. Use that as a coupon code, and you get again yeah. 20 percent off. And it's only like forty ninety nine, which for an entire like series of packs for a g- card game like that is like mad cheap. Yeah, yeah. Plus, and you the get fact a, that you get twenty percent off on top of that. Yeah, so it's all, it's going to be like thirty two bucks or something like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. And they ship it directly. It's like going right. to be shipped internationally. So even if you're watching in another country, you could still get yourself a copy. Look yeah. at there. So you don't even have to be U.S. based. Imagine that. No. So definitely check out theshameoflife.com. Anyways, go ahead. I don't really even think I have a pet peeve. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Keep, you don't think you have something that irritates you? I mean, a lot irritates Okay. <laughs> it's just being pissy. That's, uh, that's all. Exactly. I'm just pissy. Like, I'm not... I don't have a pet peeve. <laughs> I'm just an asshole. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I just... I don't know. I, again, I have a bunch. I mean, I'm so stupid, but I have a bunch of little dumb things like for pet peeves like that. Like, I, it's a matter of like, oh, the window's open. Like, that's so irritating. Like, oh my god, people that chew with their mouths open. Yeah, that I think is actually my biggest pet peeve. Like, like, and I'm not talking just like you know, like they're chewing gum. That doesn't bother me. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They're chewing gum and their mouths open or whatever, and they look and they got that fucking. They look like that fucking douchebag from Florida State, you know? And just like, <laughs> oh yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I can't. I can't do that. You know who I'm talking I won't about? even talk to those people. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You, they got a T-shirt that's an extra medium. A you know? medium. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's all like, oh yeah, it's like, no oh, man, where are you going? Go in the store, trying to find you a tighter t-shirt. Like, <laughs> trying to find you a smaller t-shirt. Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, no, it's just like, but somebody who's like, like eating cereal, let's say, mm-hmm. and they're just like, and like fucking milk is like falling. I can't stand it, dude. You've done that. When yeah, I was six, eating my cheese and mayonnaise cooked and no. cut. <laughs> like, what do you? <laughs> No, <laughs> no. When you were a teen, like when you were a teenager, when you were a teen, when you were a teenager, because I remember distinctively there was a time. I, I remember I was I was at home for some random reason, and you were literally eating cereal. I think sitting on the couch, and you were a te- you were a teenager. And of course, when I was twenty, whatever, so I thought I was you know awesome. And I remember sitting there like you're forty watching, something, and you still think you're awesome. I am fucking. <laughs> I am. Uh. But I remember sitting, I remember distinctively, and I'm just like, I didn't say anything, and I was just like vibrating. I was like, <sighs> <laughs> but again, you were like, I think you were like uh, 17, 16, 17. Really? Yeah, this was like a long time ago. 
Because like that's always bothered me, so I don't remember doing that. No, and I and here's the thing is that it's not. I don't think it's something you do all the time. But I, I just it, for whatever reason or other, I just distinctly remember sitting. You were at the bar in mom and dad's house at the kitchen bar, and I remember you eating cereal, and I was just like, "Dude," because <laughs> we have. We have. I don't. I don't. We ever have remember eating like that because that has always irritated me. We have relatives. I am not going to say who they're related to, or what age, or anything like that. All I'm going to say is that we do have relatives that still to this day eat that way, and I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't even like. I think I know who you're talking about. I won't even go out to dinner. I'm like, I can't. I can't. I'm busy. <laughs> Uh, Anyways, but yes, yeah, so that I think that that is my pet peeve. Is that you think your only one? No. Do you think you have a dozen? Feet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been over this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. That's right. I don't that's know. Right. I could make a list. Oh, of and all people the that wear as, like as the toe old, thong flip flops. As you get older, you, you 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 will realize and recognize more things that just piss you. I don't think it piss you off because I think that's a strong way to say it. But things where you're just like, Ugh. you know what I'm saying? Just like irritated. Yeah, like I said, people that wear toe thong flip flops. I've never been able to wear flip flops regardless. So, but like well, again, sandal, like I wear sandals or whatever. Like the actual, what are they called? Sandals. You're right. Are those sandals? Yeah. Where it just has the bar over it. The bar? You mean the strap? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, the fuck ever. I it's don't know. Stra- I don't wear yes. them. <laughs> the strap that goes over the f- the foot. Okay. That's fine. Those are sandals. But to have like this thing rubbing between your toes, the, like, the, who the flip fuck? flops or thongs or sometimes they're called thongs. Did you know that? No. Yeah. Before thongs that go up your butt were a thing, they were called thongs. Flip flops were called thongs. I don't know. Whatever. Look it up. Google it yourself. I don't care. All right. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's just like why would you? Uh, that's that just can't be comfortable to have to pick up. I, it's not this piece of material it's between not. your toes. It's not. Yeah. So, um, I've got a uh, filthy trivia that we could do. You want to do it right now? Sure. So we're already on halfway through the show. You ready? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Ready? I went quick. So let's start the music. Here we go. Filthy trivia. This is a super gross one. Sweet. You ready? Next time you kill a mouse, don't toss it away. <laughs> what? Yeah. Do like the ancient Romans did and use the crushed mouse brains for one of the following things A. An antacid. B. A fever reducer. C. Toothpaste. Or D. Contraception. Say toothpaste. Crushed mouth brains. For what? Wait, what time era? The Romans. The ancient Romans. They didn't have toothpaste back then. Used for crush, crushed mouse brain, ugh, crushed mouse brains for an antacid, fever reducer, toothpaste, contraception. Maybe they did have toothpaste. Back then. Let me just say this right oh, now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you one a little, a little giveaway here. It's not contraception. <laughs> yeah, I, I figured as much. Hold on, baby. Let me rub Mickey Mouse's brains on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're good now. Let's get it on. No baby's hair. No. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You want to telling me toothpaste? You feeling toothpaste? I'm feeling toothpaste. I'm gonna go with toothpaste. Final answer. Final answer. That is correct. All right. Yeah. yeah. Toothpaste. They used mouse brains to brush their teeth. Yummy. Good, good. We wonder why there was a fucking plague. <laughs> how did they carried fi- by rats? How did they figure that out? How did someone go, hey, <laughs> this dead mouse? <laughs> uh, mm, minty. His his <laughs> brains make my teeth feel good. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So there's that. So crushed Gross. mouse brains in ancient Roman times was used as toothpaste. Gross. And now you know. Gross. This. That gross. Did you did you see the last episode that we showed? No. You didn't see the last episode where you talked about working at um, movie gallery. No. I did the editing, so I I heard the last show, but I didn't see. You did any the base editing for the show, right? Yeah. I didn't see the, the final audience, cut. The audience right now knows exactly. 
you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm gonna it can, oh, magic finger time. Mm. Fuck! I forgot to bring the magic finger. You did. I know you did. I magic was like, ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna push that away. Okay, there we go. I need you to watch the new episode. Okay. Because Adam talked about working at movie gallery, and as movie gallery was going out of business. The Lehigh Citizen newspaper did a story on it. Oh my god, you found that? And I found not only an actual photo, if you watched last week's episode, you'll see an actual photo of the movie gallery in going out of business sale, Ugh. but you'll actually see a young, vibrant Adam <laughs> with his co-workers. Barely a goatee. Ba- no, there's no goatee. <laughs> there's no goatee? No, there was. You You're just couldn't just like, see it on the camera. Hey, chillin'. My hair parted down oh, the middle. don't get it twisted. Our audience has seen it. <laughs> <laughs> they watched last week's episode, and they saw it. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> I thought it was great news. I was like, did I just find the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Add this to the show. Uh, <laughs> it just made me think of, like, uh, you know, you had such a good time working for Movie Gallery that I there has got to be some wacky or fucked up story that sticks out in your brain. About working there. Oh, I know there's probably a dozen. L- yeah. Because people are weird, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought it might be fun. Yeah. So I might be I thought it might be fun if you could recall one of probably the one that probably stands out the most or that was the most odd. It could be a little tiny story, it doesn't have to be a long drawn out thing, but the I The guy just... I had to tell to put his dick away. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. <laughs> Can tell us about the time you worked at movie gallery and people whip their dicks out. <laughs> Go ahead. So, Start. <clears throat> um, you could have rented porn. Like they had. No, no, we had porn. I could have not. Anyone could have rented. Porn. Right. No, like, I was just saying. Yeah. Um. So the they movie did, rental they had, stores had porn. Okay. Times out. They had an adults only section. Section. It was the very top row, all the way around the place. Whoa. So it was just out for everyone to see. Very top, so children couldn't reach it. But they could see it. it. I mean, it had like its covers and stuff. But then it says like Horny Housewives Volume 23 or whatever the fuck. Wow. You know what I mean? Like that you could see. So you um, trimmed, not you, but the, the, the company trimmed the top of the store. with the, For the adult section. With adult videos. Yes. And they thought that was the genius plan. Yes. How high up was the shelf? Like it was like above me. It was like over six feet tall. Like you had to get. You do you ask for assistance? <laughs> Excuse me, can I get sometimes anal, anal slut seven, please? <laughs> sometimes, yeah, people okay. needed help. Yeah. yeah, all right. Um, <clears throat> but no, yeah, but I mean, like, it was high enough to where also, like, I mean, you know how the cover of those porn is, where no, it just tell us all. <laughs> <laughs> You worked there. I didn't work there. So, like, it had the girls, like, on the front, but they didn't show anything, but they were still naked. But then you'd have, like, like, like... Please be kind rewind stickers in front of stuff? No, like... (laughs) Like, you know, like, how you had, like, the special effects of, like, the solar flares or whatever, or, like, the sun beams or whatever, and it would, like, cover just the nips. So they would do graphics that would... That would cover, cover it. it. Like, 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 whenever like somebody smiles and you see that like shine on their teeth, right? Or whatever in right, special right, effect, right, 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 like right. those over the nipples. Okay. And there was this guy over in the corner of the store. How old would you say it was? I. Okay, you say guy, and everybody 40s, in the au- and everybody 50s? and everybody in the audience immediately thinks like thirty, like 40, thirty, no, thirty like, something. Yeah, I was to say somewhere between like. Was he, he, he was either like 50 some odd years old was he or he was like a 30 some odd year old crackhead. Was he an old guy? Did he have gray hair? Like uh, what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he was part an, an older I mean, I don't I can't give you a fucking rundown on no, his description. No, I'm not description. asking you for a rundown on the description. I'm just trying to paint a I picture don't remember. for the audience. I just remember walking around the corner and be like, "Whoa! <laughs> Dude!" <laughs> yeah, fucking had his whole junk out, jerking it in the fucking corner of the store to the fucking back of a to the back. To the holding was a the fucking back, porn DVD. Was the back of the porn DVD was the back of the was it uncensored on the back? No. Okay, I don't I don't I don't fucking know. So No. They were all like Sparkly Star covered up to on the back too? Yeah. Just jerking away. And then what? <laughs> just, um just let him go? Excuse me, sir. 
Get the fuck out! <laughs> Did you just scream at him? Just you- yeah. The fuck are you doing? I'm calling the cops. Yeah. And then he left. And, and then, then I didn't even bother calling the cops because he left. Like, what the fuck was I going to do? I don't know. Throw the DVD away. <laughs> <laughs> like, <clears throat> yeah. So there was that. Um, I caught a guy stealing porn. And this porn was at the top shelf around the entire... Now, this was when I, at a different location. Um, oh, okay. So you worked at another ver- another store? So, okay. So what, ha- what happened was when I was... Because it was a long year of us filing bankruptcy multiple times. <laughs> Fun. So in order to compete with Redbox and Netflix and stuff, right. um, they came out with something called Power Play. Okay. And with the Power Play... You could pay like so much money every month, and it was recurring from your credit card statement or your. So it was a membership card. base. It was a membership base. Okay, so it was a and reward. Then, it was a reward membership based program. Yeah, got it. And I was so good at selling the memberships that they even said when they started it, like whichever stores sell the most get right. to stay open. Oh shit! That's how they. That's would, me. When they when they f- filed the first <coughs> bankruptcy, right. That was what they said. Whoever sells the most gets to stay open. Wow. And so, like, I was fighting for my job. <clears throat> and that's when I realized how to become a good salesman. And you I were like, sold, oh. like, fucking... Cr- I single-handedly saved the store. You were... <laughs> like, single-handedly saved the store. Yeah. And that's when I started becoming the manager in training. Because I got promoted, like... That yeah, but they already claimed, claimed bankruptcy, so you kind of knew that you were like, oh, manager in training could just mean it's just going to go on the resume. Yeah, what's so right? And and I'm so on my resume it says manager because who the fuck are they going to call to find out if it's true or not? <laughs> <laughs> could, could you just fake that across the board? Just a, just put down like a whole like blockbuster CEO. It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't who no. the fuck are they going to call? <laughs> doesn't <So>. matter. <laughs> There you go for everyone that now watches LinkedIn, not watches, but everyone that's on LinkedIn, just fake it. <laughs> fake it till you make it, bro. Um, but I mean, I, I did a lot of the manager stuff anyway, no, like okay, the closing yeah, yeah. and it's, paperwork, I'm all not that. Saying it so wasn't, like, it's just I, funny. I I knew how to do the job anyway. So, but technically, I didn't actually have the title, even though I knew all of the job. Okay, okay. So you, they moved you from store to store. So everybody on LinkedIn. I did know how to do it. No. And um, if you want <laughs> to offer me a job, press. Um, no, but but yeah, so they were sending me... So then I sold so many and saved the store right. that the district manager had me go to every single store to try to, up in the, to, in, try to save in the, the entire district to try to save his entire district. Oh, God. You were just like... <laughs> <laughs> That's, and dude, like... I'll save you, movie gallery. <laughs> dude, so I showed up to this one and... It was in a small town. I was teaching the all the staff members how to sell this stuff. And I'm all like, listen. I was all like, fuck the product. Nobody gives a shit about the product. You think I care about the product? I don't give a fuck about the product. Like, I don't give a fuck about the membership. Time's out. Fuck the membership. What's the product? What do you mean? The membership. Okay. Like, whatever you're trying to sell. Okay. The so product you- doesn't matter. So you were like, you were just being like, oh, let's talk about sales in general. Yeah, yeah, let's be. A, here's how to be a general salesperson. Dude, uh, fucking Wolf of Wall Street, sell me got, this pen. Yeah, I got it. You know it. what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was just like, it, it has nothing to do with the product of which you're selling. Mm-hmm. I'll give you another example that you can actually probably relate to this. Go ahead. Remember when we were young, Gur? <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> you mean yesterday? Cool. <laughs> um, no, when, we, when no. I was a kid. Oh, whatever. And right. you were in your 20s. You were about to head out the door. And you answered mom and dad's door. when the doorbell rang. And it was a guy that looked like our uncle. And I know what you're, I know you what you're were saying. like, what's up, Uncle Dwayne? And he's <laughs> all like, hey, what's up? <laughs> wasn't our uncle. But he was like, hey, what's up? I mean, spit like spitting. Spitting image. Like dude. it was ridiculous. <clears throat> and like even when mom and dad came to the door, they were like, what? <laughs> yeah, and then, and then he was all like, "Yeah, I just was actually just here to sell this vacuum." And you're like, "I already have one," but they would love to hear it. <laughs> and then you fucking went to leave. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and he's like, "All right," and he just fucking walks in. 
<laughs> but no, like, hey, they bought that vacuum though. <laughs> and that's the thing. So you actually ended up sticking around after that because the guy was cool as fuck. I ended up bought, I bought I bought one too. Did you? I the same up, day. It was a TriStar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I ended up buying one too. Later on, I ended up buying a a Kirby. Kirby. I, I I was so stupid. I spent thousands of dollars on vacuum cleaners for no that's, reason. Yeah, that's fucking dumb. stupid. Dumb. For fifteen hundred dollars a pop. For so, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. So like, and those that vacuums and, weren't cheap, and they were and, not and that's cheap. and that's my thing. So I was trying to tell them like it doesn't matter what you're selling, because you're not selling the product, you're selling yourself, and that's what I was trying to express, portray right to the 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 staff members. I was like, listen, when somebody is trying because. It's just like Tom Segura said in one of his stand-ups. People try to reach. Mm-hmm. People try to reach out. They try to be your friend. They're like, oh, like, oh, you're from Denver? Yeah, I build my own furniture. What? <laughs> like, <laughs> makes cool. no fucking sense. Cool. <laughs> but people try to reach to try to find some sort of connection with one right. another. Right, right, right. And so all you got to do is use that and build that, that trustworthy friendship. Before, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And and then you could fucking sell them. Fucking did you ever? Anything. Did you ever sell a membership knowing that movie gallery? Well, whatever that the video store place was going out of business. I was nineteen. I thought I could single hand. I was thought I could single handedly save my store, save the company, my store at least. But you know, I was because also Netflix was still doing movies by mail. Right. We didn't know streaming was gonna just like yeah come in and, exactly. <laughs> so. Um, I I believe anyway. I think those. I, I know Redbox because mother. Here's the thing, the fucking grocery store next door. Yeah. As soon as we put, like, as soon as they filed bankruptcy, they put a fucking Redbox out front of us. Yeah. But I went to the store and like and I, and then they were like, well, I don't I don't know what you mean. I'm like, you're just selling yourself. I was like, watch, and I f- pushed the little kid out of the way. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, little kid. Go ahead. And I was like, I'll take the next customer. This guy walks up. He's all like, hey, man, how you doing? Or that's what I said. I said, hey, man, how you doing? He's all like, good, good. I was like, right on, man. What are you renting today? And I was all like, oh, man, like this is a good movie, blah, blah, blah. He's all like, dude, you look really strong. Bam, reached. Pretty sure he was hitting on me. I fucking used it. <laughs> You're like, here's my number. <laughs> The store's number. Um, <laughs> but I only date people that are a part of the membership. <laughs> but no, dude, he was just all like, yeah, man, you look really strong. Like, you know, I just, you, you want to go to the gym with me? Like, and he was just all like, yeah, I want to do like s- fucking squats and like pelvic thrusts and shit. And I was just like, <laughs> dude, I just fucking rolled with it, bro. I was all like, oh, absolutely. What gym do you go to? And I just start and I just fucking, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. What day you want to go? I just fucking I flirted back. Don't care. Right. And I fucking $40 a month. The highest fucking membership that we had. <laughs> sold it. <laughs> done. And I fucking turned around and said, that's how it's done. And they're like, are you going to go fuck that guy? <laughs> I Wait, was all like, the, no. The, the manager was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. So we sell a membership and then we fuck that person. <laughs> <laughs> are we really selling memberships at this point? <laughs> But no, like I was just all like, like yeah, they were just like, but no, Adam, like, you were you were a video store slut, bro. <laughs> you're you're a video store slut, bro. But no, like all the employees at that point thought I was gay, which nothing wrong with that, but I, I'm not. And so they straight up they told me, be like, oh my god, so are you gonna, like, are you gonna go on a date with that guy? Are you gonna? No. And I was like, I was like, I'm not gay. And they're like, what? I was like, anything to make a sale, people. <laughs> Come on, our jobs are on the line. <laughs> like. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it well, worked. And that dude paid $40 a month for the next re- six until months. He until, realized, and, until he realized you didn't work there anymore. <laughs> right. Probably. Like, hey, where's that one guy? He's like, guy, he doesn't work here. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> but yeah, dude. Anything to make a fucking sense. You're selling yourself. I get it. I told this guy I, I would go and do pelvic thrusts with this yeah, guy. Yeah, apparently. You're going to pelvic thrust this guy. <laughs> If he paid forty dollars a month, damn. Maybe I, I have should, a price. I should put and it it's forty dollars a month. Forty dollar Patreon. We should set that up. Thirty nine ninety nine. You do pet pelvic thrust for Adam. I'll start an OnlyFans. There you go. There you go. Me just pelvic thrusting for thirty nine ninety nine. You might sell some. You don't even know. You never know. 
Uh, okay, well, that's, um, yeah. Uh, so crazy. Good times, dude. I just want to say that's why I want to bring it back up. It's bringing it back around. But when I found, when I was sitting there and I was doing the, the episode, I was looking at uh, the graphics that were going to go into it, and I was like, Oh hell no! I didn't just find <laughs> it's, photo. Yeah, it's yeah, it's 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 out there. I'm shocked you found I it. I literally called Jen into the room and I was like, "Come look at this photo. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's baby Adam." <laughs> um, oh my god! Yeah, so that's crazy times. Hey everybody, this episode of the Ray Hart Rundown has been brought to you by BubblyBathAndBody.com. Uh, definitely check out bubblybathandbody.com. Go there because we now have the Ray Hart collection. That's right. We've got um, multiple different kinds. Uh, peacocks up, peacocks... Peacock care. Peacock care. I almost said peacocks out. Uh, <laughs> Maybe sorry. we need to change it. Maybe Pe- we should yeah. change it. <laughs> peacocks Peac- out for Harambe. <laughs> peacocks um, out is... Uh, but yeah, the peacocks up and the peacocks out uh, men... Now, now, now you're saying out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, Bubbly. We may have to change that one, but yeah. be that as it may. As of uh, right now, Peacock Care and Peacock's Up. Yeah. Um, it, and I mean, I'm telling you, like, dude, this beard oil smells phenomenal. Like, the lotion, the beard oil, everything right now, I'm highly impressed. Well, here's the cool part. Everything that they here's have. the cool part. At bubblybathandbody.com is they have, uh, uh, under the Ray Hart Collection, if you go to their website at the top, you'll see Ray Hart Collection. You go down, you scroll, you click on that, you'll see our cartoon faces there. That's how you know you're in the right spot. And they have multiple bundles. Yeah. And each one of the bundles is related to an inside joke from the show. <laughs> right. Right. You know, they have one called Coconut Cooked and Cut. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's that's, kind of that's, cool. That's hilarious. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's really say, cool. Everything smells amazing. And I mean, the best part about all of it as well is that it's all natural ingredients. Right. So you're not putting any harmful chemicals on your body or anything like that. Because like a lot of people don't know this, but like... I. I'm not going to name. I almost named off a different type of soap, but yeah, like some of these big name brand things are like borderline like toxic detergents. Yeah, toxic you know chemicals. I mean? Right, and so it's like it can enter. It can make you have lower sperm count. It could like dry Whoa. out your skin. Yeah, dude, like a whole bunch of different stuff. So I love going all natural whenever it comes to skincare, and for, that's what makes this for sure. Like, you have to. It, it makes it so much safer. It's, it's that the bubbly, the bubbly brand, and everything. Their their whole goal. It, it is made to be safer for, you know, children and adults, actually, and to be totally natural um, oils and that type of stuff to make yeah. it. And it's amazing. It smells so good. Oh, smells so, so good. good. <laughs> so good. All right. But here's the cool part. Here's not only the cool part. Do are, Not only do you go there to bubblybathandbody.com, you can check out the Ray Hart collection. And you could see pre-made bundles and pre-discounted already discounts was gonna say discounted bundles but on top of that type in rundown on checkout 20 percent off yeah another 20 percent off another 20 percent off discounted price already so like hello why like, would you, why would you try it here's the thing is that i'm i'm pretty sure i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure that that's the biggest discount that bubbly is giving out right now it is yeah, right now it is the only like yeah, that's it's exclusive it's for incredible us. yeah so you definitely need to check it out definitely go there uh, you know you want to try. It. You know you want to at least try it. Oh, absolutely, you have to. Oh, dude! I'm so excited. I, like I'm, I, I haven't had a chance to use the beard oil t- uh, yet this week because uh, it just got in today. But dude, I'm. Uh, it smells stoked. so good. I don't even have to wear cologne anymore. <laughs> yeah, seriously, this doubles as my beard oil and cologne. So it's like I'm saving even more money now. Wow. Like, it's incredible. So, definitely, again, when you go to check out, type in Rundown to get yourself an additional 20% off. Check out the bundles that we've created there for the Rayheart Collection. Just go to bubblybathandbody.com. Oh, my God. Can we actually talk about something really quick that I've been doing? Yeah, we have time. Um, So, you know those those apps that you have on your phone where it's like, play this game. You see the advertisements all the time. Yeah, play I, this game yeah. and we'll deposit $1,000 into your PayPal. A lot of them are bullshit. All bullshit, dude. All of them. I told you this. I found one. That you claim is not bullshit. It's not. It worked. Okay. But it's not money. There it is. Keep in mind. money. They'll deposit. They'll deposit a gift card. It's not money. Gift card. They'll do Amazon gift cards or Xbox gift cards or whatever. So I I started playing this one because I figured I was all like, well, I'll just play the fucking game and I'll just try it. The gift card. If I don't get it, then I'll fucking delete it and I'll never use it. But time's out. They always give you the first two gift cards. Really? Yeah, that's the trick. They make it way harder to get to the third because they've already hooked you with the first two, and the first two are usually like five bucks or three bucks or whatever. 
No, I got a twenty dollar gift card. Okay, but be that as it may, exactly. See how excited you got just now? I got a twenty dollar gift card, and I'm halfway to another <laughs> ten dollar gift card already. Correct, ten dollars, not thirty, not another twenty. Uh, yeah, no, you no, don't understand how this works. <laughs> I do because all the only thing that is is that whatever you're doing, there's an ad that pops up that you have to watch. If I'm gonna be like on my phone taking a shit anyway, I might as well try to make some gift cards from it. You're like, I'm gonna take some, I'm gonna make some Amazon money while I take a shoot. Yeah, it's gonna exactly. be great. You never know. It's gonna be fine. You know, never know when that 50 cent um, Amazon <laughs> gift card might come in use. <laughs> yes, legit. They have a 50 cent gift card. Okay, what the fuck so is the point? Last week we talked about you doing the beard oil thing. Yes. So now we ordered it. We're just waiting for it to show up. Yes. Okay. So I just want to everyone that came, maybe was like, hey, I thought you were gonna do that. So we just it'll we be ordered it'll it. be. We're waiting for it to show up. Are you gonna do it on this episode? No. Okay. Well, then why did you? I already it out? used the beard oil because it, it, it got it got you here today. Even brought it out. <laughs> no, I got here, but I wanted to show people what it looks like. Next episode, I will be applying this on my beard. Um, but I can tell you right now because I want because we still need to talk about it. They still are a sponsor and everything like that. But I'm gonna tell you right now. <sighs> smells good, right, bro? This is the best beard oil I've ever smelled in my fucking life. And I'm not saying that because they're a fucking sponsor. I am dead serious. Have you smelled this? Yeah. Dude, get a fucking whiff of this. I don't have to get a whiff of it. Get a whiff. Take a whiff on camera. So when you order from Bubbly, <laughs> they send you this cool little box. Um, and they gave us, of course, a sample. Of course, we got a sample of all of their stuff um, with their their... The diesel bar soap. Fucking holding out on me, bro? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a gentleman soap bar. You get all this cool stuff. Um, but yeah, here, smell this. This is uh, the lotion. Desperado. Oh, man. Right? Do you already have lotion? Yeah, I know. So do you, you can have it. Chill. <laughs> you can wait. We have to redo our promos. We'll be. You can have whatever. It's fine. So, uh, but this is this one smells good. Here, take a look. Smell the smell the green one there in the middle. Take a look at that. So Ooh, we have two, sugar scrub. So we have two of them. The men's. I want to bring, talk about it. The bubbly, Ooh. bubblybathandbody.com. Uh, we have two of the the for men. My actually. shit. A, a lot of stuff for women, but we have two for men. One called uh, Peacock Care and Peacocks Up, and these are the stuff that you get in those packages. Um, you can see here. We got two original fresh. Yeah, he's, dude, the, the, Bubbly hooked us up, bro. Bubbly hooked us up. So one of these are mine. Yeah, well, yeah. They want us to try it. They want us to try it. So here's the Desperado oh, beard oil. Yeah, they did. Yeah, he threw in some stickers and whatnot for it. Uh, I'm goal gonna, is my goal. I'm oh, I love that. <laughs> love I'm that. Gonna, I'm gonna try to get uh, Ray Hart Rundown stickers included too. But try, smell that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I that's the, the Desperado. That's the Desperado. This oil. is the other beard oil? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, because this is the... Ooh. That smells... Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, it's just like yeah. the lotion. And this Dude, is the Huntsman smells... lotion. So. So, no, it's not a matter of holding out. It's just a matter of bubbly hooking us up. Bubblybathandbody.com. Damn. Dude, yeah. No, this smells fucking incredible. Your yeah. hole is my goal. I love that I know, it's so, so much. awesome. And it's like a little scooper. Yeah, that's so awesome. Just, for the, everyone just listening to the podcast, they included a sticker in one of the little packages that literally shows like a backhoe, and it says, your hole is my goal, and it's it's crazy. So anyways. But yeah, I'm going to be applying it uh, next week, only because like I was unprepared. Uh, I already have beard oil in. And yeah, that's fine. I don't have my comb and nothing like that. But... But yeah, so special shout out thanks to Bubbly for having us, giving us some to try for ourselves. Absolutely. So it's going to be fun. I don't know. I'm so excited. Super stoked. Always so super stoked to try a new I will product. have my full review next week. Next week. Next week, full review. On all of it. Every product. Um, so there's that. <laughs> all right. You got anything else you want to bring up or we need to talk about? Probably, think, but there's only is, so much time in a day. I know. We're already running at the end of this episode for sure. So with that being said... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Peacock's up. We'll see you guys next week. Bye now. <laughs>